sequence of elements supported in java 8 so means can be zero to many sorted them hello everyone very warm welcome to think constructive i am isha in this session i will be talking about a stream api which is an important addition in java 8 this is definitely a must know feature for every java programmer here i will be covering stream api overview followed by the working of a stream api type lines and some important key methods of stream apis in this session i will also be demonstrating a couple of examples of a stream api so that will be the live hands on demonstration so stay connected watch the session till the end so that you follow along you understand this feature and gain more confidence on this all right so let us start with the stream api overview let us first understand what are stream apis a simple short definition is a sequence of elements from a source that supports aggregate operations that means streams are a sequence of elements from a source source can be anything like collections arrays or any other io resources all right and those those supports aggregate operations so what do we mean by aggregate operations for example sorting operation all right or filtering operation or or find a particular value in the given or finding a particular value in the given collection all right so such kind of operations are directly now supported by stream apis earlier it was not there but now it is very much supported in java okay earlier how we used to do we used to write the complete logic in order to perform such operations now from java 8 onwards you can directly call those methods using stream api and the job is done all right here are some features of a stream api most important it is supported in java 8 so java 8 onwards whichever java version you are using you can make use of java stream apis and its uh, package is java.util.stream okay it is available in that it supports functional style operations on elements so like i had given the example of sorting so it's a functional style operation now supported in a stream api so you can just call sort method for sorting the entire stream another feature is it doesn't store elements so it is a sequence of streams which is taken let's say for example from a array list okay so it will perform operation on that and give you the output it doesn't store anything that's what is meant by don't store any elements and it's not required also another feature is elements are visited only once it's lazy by nature so streams are lazy by nature means whenever there is a need then only the computation or calculations are performed it doesn't pre process the thing and keep in the application rather whenever that particular processing will be needed then only stream apis will perform that particular computation all right so now let's talk about how does a stream work So streams work in a pipeline like this means there will be a source from where the stream of or sequence of elements will be taken so on the source the stream will be created okay and then that that particular stream will be followed by certain operations whatever you will be needing to perform and then that will be followed by the terminal operation okay these intermediate operations the light blue boxes are, which are shown here are all optional so that means a uh, directly from the source a stream can be created and directly a terminal operation can be performed i'll just tell you in a while what do i mean by source and terminal operations here all right so these small uh, blue boxes are all optional operations so it's uh, these optional operations are always zero or more so there can be no optional operation or there can be n number of optional operations i show all these things via demonstration so stay connected watch the session till the end so sources can be the collections collections can be list array map set int stream long stream double stream etc or it can be some io resources intermediate operations i am repeating it can be zero to many that means if it is needed in your code you can call n number of intermediate operations if not required you can just skip this particular step so intermediate operations there are some examples like filter map map to int sorted skip 
or find first find any these kind of operations are called intermediate operation that means the operations which are supposed to perform some particular thing on the sequence of elements or on the stream which is created using collection okay and then that will be followed by terminal operation so terminal operation is the mandatory step in the stream pipeline so source and terminals are mandatory and intermediate operations are optional all right so terminal operations can be collect that means on the stream some intermediate operations are performed and finally you want to collect data for example let's say in some list so you will be calling collect method so there are some more for each for iteration or counting the things or getting the maximum or minimum value or reduce operations or two array and there are many more here are some important examples i have displayed for terminal operations and intermediate operations but these methods are not limited to only this there are many more intermediate and terminal operations provided by stream apis in java 8 all right let us now switch to the demonstration so i'll be demonstrating couple of examples wherein i will not be using any any intermediate operations and then i will be using couple of combination of intermediate operations so i would suggest you follow this demonstration along with me try the things out so that you feel more comfortable and confident with the stream apis all right so here is my intellij idea editor i will be using this editor for the demonstration purpose you can use any java editor of your choice all right so let us first have the demo on zero intermediate operations okay because that's what we discussed source and terminal operations are mandatory in the stream pipeline but intermediate operation depending on the need of your code you can use or you can skip so let's take a simple scenario wherein i will be creating an array list of integers and will be iterating those integers and printing on the terminal with the help of stream apis okay because that will give you the basic gist of this feature so let's have the list of integers in list let's say i'll be creating an array list okay and we'll initialize this array list with some integers let's say i'll just say array is dot as list and we'll give give some in integers here one two three four five, six, nine okay again let's say want to repeat it so here is a list of integers and now let's now iterate this int list and print the output on the screen with the help of a stream api how do we do that i'll just say int list which is my list so this should be the source for my stream so i'll create a stream out of it like this and just a terminal operation for iterating this i'll just say for each and i'll be using now lambda expressions inside this for printing the elements of this int list or of this stream all right so how do we do that let's say i want to print the values i'll just say val and we'll just say system dot out dot print ln okay and any friendly message list values is equal to and then i would just say val okay so that's it so in just one line i'm able to print values on the screen it rate print to everything okay so let us now go ahead and execute this so here is the output you can see all the list values are printed on the screen i'll just make it a bit more up okay so you can see here all the list values are printed on the screen all right so i hope this part is clear now let us um, have a demonstration with one intermediate operation okay so for one intermediate operation let's say the same zero interim operation code what did i do an array list of integer and created a stream of it iterated and printed all the values on the screen now my requirement is in the same list i want to print the value only those values which are greater than 3 okay how do we do that 
I'll just take the same four. Okay. And what next I will do? I want to put a condition where the value is greater than three. Only those values should be printed this time. Okay. So that means I want to filter out some data. What should I do? I will be using an aggregate operation called filter which is provided by a streams in Java. Okay. So with a stream, I will just say dot filter and I need to pass some condition and what is my condition? The value should be greater than 3. How do I pass the condition? I will just say val is greater than 3. That's all. No need to write all those if else big logic. Rather, just by one method call, my job is done. So, I have called the filter method and I have put the condition inside this. Okay. So, val is greater than 3. That's all. Let us now execute and see the difference in the output. Okay. See. List values this time I am getting 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. I am not getting 1, 2, 3. Rather, I am only getting 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 because those values are greater than 3. So, this is how you can use intermediate operations with a stream. If you need, you can use it. If you don't want, you can skip it. It, it all depends on your code requirement. All right. Now, let us have a demonstration for three intermediate operations. Okay. So, let us assume a scenario that I have an employee list and I want to take out only those employee names who lives in Mumbai. Name should be printed in uppercase and also in sorted manner. Okay. So, for that, I have already created an employee class. I will just show you that. So, here is an employee class with four attributes called employee ID, employee name, employee age and employee address and, uh, and their getter set, setter methods and also there is an enum called address which will store couple of addresses. Alright, so this is the employee class and I want to execute my scenario on this. Okay, so how do I do that? I will first create the employee list and store some employee records in that. Okay. So, let us start doing that. I will just create employee list. I will just say employee list is equal to new array list. Okay. So, my array list is created and now I will create couple of records for this. So, here is my employee data, some records I have added in the array list called employee list. So, let us now start creating the stream on employee, of employee list and start putting the conditions or whatever is needed. Okay. So, employee list dot stream method will create the stream of employee list. Then the first thing I need to put a condition and condition how can I do? I can do it with the help of filter. Okay. So, E pointing to e dot get employee address because I want to put condition on employee address is equal to Mumbai. Okay. Now the next thing I want to print all the filtered employee names in uppercase. How do we do that? We do that with the help of map function. Okay. So inside map, what should I do? I need to get the employee name e dot get employee name right and then to uppercase method I should be calling fine so it will get the employee name and convert those employee names to uppercase now the next condition was or the next thing was I want to sort them out okay so I need to just simply call dot sorted method it will do the sorting okay so it will sort out all the employee names all the filtered employee names in the ascending order okay and then the last thing i would want to iterate and print the filtered employee names we should do it with the help of for each okay so i'll just shift it to next line so that it is more readable so with the help of for each what i can do i'll just say e and then system dot out dot print ln and here we'll just say employee name is equal to whatever value I am getting here. Okay. Fine. 
what have we done? We have created the stream of employee list, filtered them on the basis of employee address, and then converted the name to converted the name to uppercase, sorted them, and finally iterated and printed everything in just one line of code. Okay, so now let us execute this code and see the results. Whether we are getting what we were expecting or not. So, I will just take it a bit up so that more visible to you. So, A, B, D, R. So, first thing it is sorted. All in uppercase. Okay. And four names I have got. Let us see how many employees lives in Mumbai. How many employees lives in Mumbai are four. Rita, Alok, Babita, Derek. Okay. And what am I getting? In sorted order, all in uppercase, Alok, Babita, Derek and Rita. Okay. I hope this point is now very clear. How can you use multiple intermediate operations? Okay. There are many more scenarios, many more examples. I have also created one more video on the grouping by and count statements for stream APIs and collectors. Please watch that video after this session. That will be very, very helpful. So, I would suggest you to try out all these examples. If you have any doubts, any questions, please ask those questions, your doubts in the comment sections. I will try to reply as soon as possible. If you like any particular part of the video, please tag that particular part in the comment section. That will be beneficial for everyone. Thank you everyone for watching the session. I hope it was helpful. If you like the session, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I have also uploaded more courses on the channel. So please go ahead and explore them. I would also request you to share the channel details with more and more people so that everyone will be benefited and we will grow together as a community and get more stronger. Alright, so see you in the next session. Thanks once again. Bye for now.